Okay, well, welcome back to another video that is dedicated for YouTube. Um, I told you guys, you guys are special. This is the only platform where I go out of my way to make a video. Besides, obviously, Instagram, and then I just transport all those videos, or transfer all those videos to TikTok and to the rest of the platforms. Um, but uh, yeah, I love making YouTube videos. It's just one of those things that will always stick with me. Um, because it serves like a real purpose for me. I love to come on here and just express myself and talk and just tell you guys what I'm going through. Um, and yeah, this is the first time we actually had some daylight. Most of the times, it's pitch black out because I'm doing so many things and then it's like nearing towards midnight or whatever. And then I got to film in my vehicle or wherever I got to film just to make a video and talk to you guys. But yeah, today was just one of those days where I was just beating the fuck out of myself mentally at work. And it wasn't to do with anything that was work based. It was everything after work. Like, because I built up so much momentum and yesterday I did so many things, you know, grinding towards my purpose. I made some a whole bunch of fucking TikTok reels. I made a YouTube video. I went on a jog. Like I did all these things, but like the quality of the content was so high that today I'm like, damn, I'm not feeling it. Like I'm feeling under the weather. I don't feel 110%, but how do I still imitate like giving 110% or actually give 110% when I don't feel 110%? And that's what greatness is. You know, when you still feel under the weather, but you still show up and you give it your all. Like that's... Truly, when you become great, when you don't want to be there, you don't want to show up, you don't want to be at that place, but you still give it your all. And that's all you can really do at the end of the day. Like, yeah, sure, I got all this pressure on me, I got all this weight on me, I want to outperform what I did previously, but at the end of the day, all I can do is just, well, try to be better than my past self, or actually be better than my past self. Like, now I'm more hungrier, I got a chip on my shoulder, like, I'm more, ah, like, at the camera, which is, you know, better than I was yesterday when I was making content. Like, everything, if you keep showing up, will advance to some degree, and you will get better each and every single time, and there's positives on the other side. And, like, when you want to give up, but you still show up, and you can be like, damn, I'm going to attack this weakness at the base. Like, this is my mindset. If I feel some weakness or some doubt, or some fear is starting to creep in, I will attack it as soon as it enters my system or my brain. Because after a while, that momentum will build. And like, no matter how fucking great your momentum is or how positive it is, it can flip on a dime and it can go backwards. Just as fast as it went forwards, it can go backwards. And if you let your mind slip and you don't attack it right at the base, like today I wanted to give up, but I'm attacking it. I'm fucking killing it before it grows. And I'm doing exactly what I don't want to do, which is continuously pushing forward and going to the next level. And now it's not going to grow. Now it's now it's non-existent because I just proved myself wrong. But if I didn't show up today and I let that doubt and I let that fear grow into tomorrow, it's going to be extremely hard to jump back into this shit believing in myself. Um, and not only that, especially with your environment, because now your momentum is dead. You don't really believe in yourself and you took that into the next day instead of attacking it that day and now you're in your you're back in your environment with a whole bunch of people who don't believe in themselves anyways or don't want to amount to anything greater than the medio the mediocrity or just becoming mediocre or staying mediocre like they don't want to advance from that so when you're surrounded by people like that and you've you know failed yourself you are literally just slowly going to go back to stage 1 it's it can happen super fast like you know what I mean? The devil always tries to find a chink in your armor. And if he can, he will exploit that and he will use it against you and he will attack that. So you always got to come prepared and you always got to fucking fight because you just got to have a strong enough why. Like, why the fuck did I start this shit? Oh, yeah, I don't want to work for the rest of my life. Oh, yeah, this is my passion. This is something I actually fucking enjoy and that I actually believe in. And this has just been a vision inside of my head for so fucking long for no odd reason. Like, why is it there? Why is this vision in my head to inspire, to motivate, to influence, to entertain people? Like, why has that been there? Because clearly, I, it's something for me. It's some, It's my path that I'm supposed to fucking chase. Like, if you can believe in that fucking vision and you can walk that path, then that is great. And this fucking thing interrupted me. It is so fucking annoying. Hold up. Excuse me. But yeah, that stupid ass noise just ruined my train of thought. But I'm just saying, like, keep pushing forward. If you want to give up, if you want to quit, if you want to be stagnant, if, if you want to be still and you don't want to move to that next place or that next stage or that next level or that next you know, overcome that next obstacle, then you're going to stay in that place for the rest of your life. If you don't overcome that adversity, you're going to be living in that adversity for the rest of your fucking life. 
So it is something you have to do. And the only reason that you actually want to give up and you can't keep going is because the old version of you has to fucking die so you can continue to the next level. The only way you can go is if you kill that old version of you who has excuses, who has fucking self-doubt, who has all these random things that keep pulling them back. That's the reason it's getting hard and that's the reason you want to give up because your old version, if you overcome... What you got to overcome, he will die and you will become a brand new fucking beast. And that's what you got to do. Every time you want to give up, you're transforming into a brand new person who keeps pushing forward and who just has a little more strength, a little more confidence to them, a little more charm to them, a little more whatever to them. If you just keep going when you want to give up, you're going to have so much self-confidence and self-belief after that. And you're just going to become a whole different person. And the perception of yourself will change and just everything about yourself will change. But if you give up, you're going to be that old version that you fucking hate. And like, if you give up, like everything's done. Your chapter's over. The book is finished. You're going back to that place you fucking hated. And that's the reason you started because you probably hated where you fucking were at. So just keep pushing because both of them suck. Giving up fucking sucks and pushing forward. Sometimes it can suck, but it always has... A satisfying, gratifying fucking feeling that just feels amazing. And you feel satisfied about yourself. And you feel proud about yourself when you keep pushing forward. And there's always something to be attained. There's always a gift. There's always something that will come along your path that will bless you. Unlike this where you're, it's just the opposite. But anyways, yeah. I just wanted to be real and tell you guys the truth and how I was feeling. Um, but that's my mindset. Like if I want to give up, best believe I'm giving 140%. If I feel tired best believe I'm fucking going 140%. Like whatever I have, whatever I feel, I'm going to give up my all while I can give up my all. And maybe, you know, if I'm not feeling the best and I give up my all, it's not going to be the best, but I'm still giving it my all. I'm doing what I can in this moment. Like, you know what I mean? And God or whatever, whoever the fuck owns this universe or this place, he can be like, damn, well, you know what? Like he's feeling under the weather, but he's giving it his fucking all. So, you know, at the end of the day, what more can I do besides give it my fucking all? That's all I can fucking do is give it my all. And that's what you got to do all the time. And yeah, I'm pretty sure once I overcome this, it's going to be fucking just a walk in the park. And I'm going to be confident. I'm going to be feeling good. And the next thing will pop up. And it'll probably be even harder than this. But you must keep pushing forward. But a lot of the times, the devil would just throw a smoke bomb on your path. Whether it be fear. Whether it be doubt. Whether it be your environment attacking what you got going on. It could be anything. You just got to have your fucking focus on your path. And you got to keep pushing no matter what what is presented on your path and what tries to throw you off the path just keep showing up keep going you know keep going one more each and every single time because a lot of the times you know your dream or your vision or what you want to do is just being tested like it's like the devil the devil is in the air like when i'm when i started going to the gym six days a week you know Everyone would tell me, oh, don't go to the gym six days a week. You're going to strain your muscles. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to hurt your back because I was in a car accident and I was fractured. They're like, don't lift heavy weight. Um, and they're like, yeah, you got to recover. Like, you're just going to hurt yourself. You won't grow it. You're just getting diminishing returns, this, that, and the third. Like, please don't do that. Like, everybody was trying to talk me out of doing what was best for me. And I've been going to the gym six days a week. And, you know, a couple months down the line, these people are like, oh, are you on steroids? Like, damn, you are fucking massive. Like, every time I see you, you're getting fucking bigger each and every single time. And it's because I'm showing up six days a week with purpose and intensity and I'm fucking destroying my muscles. And, like, yeah, sure, recovery is a thing. But if you give your body no chance, it's going to be fucking recovering by the time I'm walking out of the gym because they're like, damn, this guy's nutty. And your body will adapt. It will get used to it. Um... But these people don't know that. They're like, oh, they'll just make excuses. That's why they're all at the same level. And they'll never break any fucking limits or try to overcome anything that society says. They'll just be like, oh, well, I'm going to go to the gym four days a week. And, you know, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to pace myself because, well, this, this fucking article I seen online says it's good for muscle growth. And that's the fucking, that's not, that's not true at all. Fucking put in the work and you're going to get the results. You get out what you put in each and every single time. And that's why I'm bigger than all these fucks. And that's why they think I'm on steroids. Because I work my fucking ass off and I don't listen to nobody. I show up each and every single day. And my body has no fucking choice to recover because I'm showing up each and every single day. And I train with intensity. And I'm going to do the same with my fucking videos. People are going to be talking shit and it's going to happen. They're like, oh, why are you filming videos? That will never work out. This, that, and that. They're just like the gym. Trying to talk me off path from something that is meant for me. That's something that is actually, you know gonna better me 
something that is made for me. Like, I feel like this is designed for me because my soul wants to do it. It's longing to do it. That's why I'm fucking doing it after a 12-hour shift. And these people will try to talk you off past. So, like, the devil will find any fucking way to drag you back to where you came and to make you miserable and to just see you defeated and to see you fucking, you know, down in the trenches. But you just got to keep fucking pushing. You got to keep moving. Um, and even in the darkness... Yeah, even in the darkness, you got to keep pushing for it. But yeah, a lot of the times I just feel like everything is designed to mold you. Like if you continuously keep showing up um, and you have that vision inside of your mind of who you want to be and you show up through whatever life throws at you and you just can hold that vision in your mind. I feel like everything is designed to kind of mold you like you're a piece of clay like at first you're bland you're nothing you want to be this great fucking warrior the statue or whatever you want to be whatever you want to be you know whatever you envision and god's just molding you and you got to get rid of parts you got to kill versions of yourself you got to go through adversity you got to go through challenging things because like i'm i'm praying to be great and like i'm not going to become great by fucking walking through the park and kicking my feet up on a bench and listening to a podcast and just like cruising through life. Like obviously that's not the way it's going to be. I pray to be great. So I should expect a lot of fucking hard shit to fall on my journey. And if I can overcome it, I feel like that's a step in the direction that I want to go. And I'm just advancing mentally. I'm advancing mentally. Uh, sorry, I'm stumbling on my words because I'm fucking tired. And I'm kind of like jumping to the next task ready inside of my mind. Um, but uh, yeah, that's really all I have to say. I got so much shit I got to do. I want to make some reels. And also go to the gym. And I got no time to waste. Not that you guys are wasting my time or vice versa, but. That's all I got. Anyways, peace.